Hi, in this video, we are still going to learn about linear factor, but we have we will have the additional point here. We will learn how to change irrational fraction to rational fraction. Recall that how we're going to identify what is an improper fraction. So if it's improper fraction and then we have to do long division, then only we can get a proper fraction and then you will decide whether it's linear factor, quadratic factor or repeated factors. So in this case, you can see that the power x cubed here is bigger than the denominator where you will get x squared. So in this case, you will have to do long division first. To do long division, you will draw a line and then x cubed minus 2 and the divisor here is x squared plus x minus 6. So we'll put an x here, we'll get x cubed plus x squared minus 6x. Put a minus sign with the bracket. You will get negative x squared plus 6x and then pull down the negative 2, you get minus 2. So next, we will make this negative x squared disappear by multiplying negative 1. You get negative x squared minus x plus 6. And then you will do a negative sign with a bracket. So you will get 7x minus 8. So after you do the long division, what you actually have here is x cubed minus 2 divided by x plus 3, x minus 2, you will have x minus 1 plus the remainder 7x minus 8 over the divisor. So we have learned this in the video where we learn division. So now what you have to do is to find the partial fraction for this and then you will combine them together. So what we're going to do, only partial fraction for 7x minus 8 over x plus 3, x minus 2. So you will identify that these are distinct linear factor. So we will do a over x plus 3 plus b over x minus 2. 7x minus 8 is equals to a x minus 2 plus b x plus 3. So if you realize, actually I skip a lot of steps just now. If you still don't understand how I get from this to this, you can watch the previous video. So now what I want to do is to find the value of a and b by letting the root that x equals to 2, I will get 7, 2 minus 8 equals to b, 2 plus 3, I will get b is equals to 6 over 5. Another one is let x equals to negative 3, 7 and negative 3 minus 8 is equals to a, negative 3 minus 2, and I got the value of a is 29 over 5. So the answer for this partial fraction is 7x minus 8 over x plus 3, x minus 2 is 29 over 5, x plus 3 plus 6 over 5, x minus 2. However, this is not our final answer because 
this is just the small part of here. So we will combine them together. We will write the final answer as x cubed minus 2 over x plus 3 x minus 2 is equals to x minus 1 plus 29 over 5 x plus 3 plus 6 over 5 x minus 2. With this, you get the final answer. I will leave example 7c and d for your own practice and I leave here the answer for your reference.